Hey everyone, it's Shawnee here with Katabi, and today we're going to be putting together this uh, football theme wreath from a kit. Uh, the kit is available in my Etsy shop, so I will leave a link for that in the description. I will also leave a um, list of the measurements used. In case the kit is sold out, then you can um, follow along, get your materials and things like that. Um, so the kit does come with everything that you see here. Um, you'll get a roll of mesh. The mesh is not pre-cut, but all of the ribbon is. Um, and just a heads up, we are uh, trying out a new um, video and audio equipment. Um, so if you guys could please leave any uh, feedback in the comments, that would be uh, really awesome. I just want to make sure, you know, um, audio and everything is working right. In the last video that I did, the audio was just horrible. So I'm hoping this is better. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave that in the comments as well. And let's get this started. So I have um, already um, cut my mesh. So from the mesh, I cut 12 pieces that are 30 inches long. Get all this out of my way here. And so I cut 12. Oops. All right, I cut 12 pieces that were 30 inches long. I'm gonna grab um, my pipe cleaners. And um, so on our frame here, we're gonna go um, we're going to take one of our pipe cleaners and there are four bars on here and one crossbar. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaner and I'm going to wrap around um, the two center bars and a, a crossbar. Okay. And I'm going to bring that up and I'm just going to give it one good twist right there in the center and I'm going to do the same thing. Um, on all six, there's six crossbars here. I'm gonna set that to the side. So with our mesh, um, so we are going to do a ruffle, it's just a basic ruffle. Um, so um, with this 30 inch piece of mesh, you can see how it wants to curl on it, up on itself. We're gonna flip that over so that the curl is pointed down towards the table. Um, and just, always when I'm starting just a basic ruffle, I kind of tuck this edge under just a little bit because when I'm ruffling this up, I don't want that edge to get caught and um, it just kind of helps minimize spraying. So I'm going to tuck that under. And now with my thumbs down, I'm going to use the rest of my fingers to kind of work my way across and gather all the way. And when I get to the other end, I will also kind of fold that edge under just a little bit, okay? So you end up with this um, pretty ruffle here. And I'm going to take that and put it into my first tie. Now, and you do want to give that a pretty good twist, keep it tight. And I'm, I don't really need to do anything with this um, ruffle here. I just kind of want it to fan out a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing all the way around and this one the ruffle that I'm laying in um, we're laying this in horizontal right yeah horizontal um, so we're going to do the same thing all the way around okay so we did our first row of ruffles um, and now I'm going to come back. So that was six on my base and that was laid in. We put those in horizontally. horizontally. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another ruffle. So I'm going to fold that under and gather it. All the way. Get that edge tucked under. Okay, so now this time instead of laying it in horizontally, we're going to put it in vertically. So instead of side to side, we're going to go up and down. So I'm going to go right into the previous time and I kind of open that up a little bit. And I'm going to take this one, oops, too far. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it in um, Let me give that a good pull there. All right. My 
hands are a little, a little sore today. Okay, so now I have one that is horizontal and vertical. Okay, and I'm going to kind of fluff that out a little bit. And now I'm going to do the same thing um, going all the way around. And really what this is doing um, is one covering our frame, making sure that uh, you cannot see through to the, the frame, which this foil uh, mesh is pretty thick, but um, and it also adds a lot of kind of depth there. So we're gonna put this one in. Same way. Okay, gonna flip it open and keep going. Okay, so I got in the last piece of mesh there. Um, so again, those pieces were just cut at 30 inches long. Um, you just take your roll, so it's going to come the full 10 yards, and roll it out. And you want to measure 30 inches. And you can, like I would cut it with a rotary cutter. Um, or if you don't have that, a pair of scissors, just make sure it's 30 inches. And then we did ruffles. So we did a, a bottom layer ruffle and a top layer ruffle. Um, and now we're going to put in um, our ribbon in sign. So let me grab those. So on our sign, um, and the sign does come, it has like a jute uh, kind of string attached to it or, or hanger attached to it. I cut that off um, and I have stapled on um, two pipe cleaners to the back. Um, your, I will include in the kit cable mounts in case you don't have a stapler. Um, you can use the cable mount, it's an adhesive backing, you just um, peel off the backing and you can stick it on and then put your pipe cleaner through that. Um, so for this one in particular, um, so I, um, actually let me do my, oh, we'll do our ribbon tails first. So, um, so I have six ties all the way around and from um, this set of ribbon, so these are two and a half inches wide, so we have the um, football field yardage and then the footballs. Um, and we are going to take one of each and kind of lay that on top of each other. And I'm going to fold this in half, really just so I can see where the halfway point is. I'm going to open that up and right at that halfway mark, I'm going to kind of scrunch this together and to give me kind of an A shape. I'm going to go into one of my ties and I'm going to put this in. Okay. Now I'm not going to, not going to do anything else yet and I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, now I'm going to do that for all, all the way around, but I am going to alternate. So later on we will separate out these tails so you can kind of see uh, between the two. But what happens is whichever one is on top is more dominant. So as I work my way around, I'm going to alternate which one is on top. So this time I'm going to put um, the football field on top of the football. And I am paying attention to which direction I am putting the numbers. So that they're all pointing in the same direction. Again, I'm going to scrunch that up. I go to my next one and put that in. Okay. And now I'm just going to keep alternating those. Okay, so I have our ribbon tails in initially. They're not perfected yet, but they're in. Um, and before I do the next part, um, we're going to put in our sign. However, I'm going to, so my plan is to, um, so I have six ties and I'm going to center this sign and it's going to kind of cover up or butt up against two of my tails. So the pipe cleaners that are on those two tails, I'm going to trim them down and tuck them before I add my sign and then we'll do the next part. So what I'm going to do, Clippers. So um, 
I'm going to probably give it about four or five twists of my pipe cleaner on just those two. And I'm going to cut off excess. I'm going to leave about a half an inch and I'm going to tuck that pipe cleaner down in there into the mesh. And then I can kind of separate my tails here a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on that other side. And tuck that down in there. If you hear pounding, I apologize. They're doing construction next door. So hopefully that doesn't come up on the sound. I can fluff that a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and put in our sign, and I am going to center that and put that right on those two. I'm going to feed that um, those pipe cleaners down through there to the back and wrap around the wire frame. So I can see from looking at it that it's way off to the left. Um, so this is where you don't put it so tight and then you have room to adjust it. Make sure your mesh is not swallowed. Okay, and then we can tighten that down. And okay, now I have um, four exposed um, ribbon, um, or I should say pipe cleaner. So where my ribbon tails are, I have four that are still exposed. So what we're gonna do with, um, so your kit also comes with this ribbon in it, um, and. Um, we're going to take one of these, we're going to do this times four. Um, this ribbon has the little uh, football laces on it, um, and I have cut it to where this should space out perfectly for you. Um, and if you've never made a bow, follow along, I'll kind of do this one in slow motion, hopefully. Um, okay, so I'm going to come up here closer, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to start down here with one of the laces, okay, and right between these two white pieces, I am going to gather that right between my fingers, and this portion is going to be a tail, okay. So now, right where I pinched it, I'm going to flip, twist it, so that, and if I flip the ribbon over, that this would be the pretty side of the ribbon pointed up, and this would not be, okay. Now I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna kinda of create a loop, and I'm gonna go, um, so right here between the two white bars, um, that's one, I'm gonna to go to the second one, so I'm kinda of skipping one in the middle. And I'm gonna bring that back to my fingers, and I'm gonna pinch. So really what that does is it gives me a lace, that little space right there, and another lace, whoops, another lace on the back side, okay? I'm going to twist again, and I'm going to bring it back right to the middle, and down, and this gives me a bow. Okay, so now that we are going to put into each of our four that are still open, we are going to set these in. Okay. So we're just going to take our little tie here, open that up, and put in our bow, give it another good twist. Now this one, we're going to twist this four or five times so we can cut it off, and then tuck down that remaining part, and now we can kind of open up our little bow here, our loops, and our tails. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on all four. So again, I'll show you on this one. 
So um, right between the first space here, I'm going to go in, pinch it, twist. I'm going to skip one, go to the second one, and bring that back, gather that, and I'm going to twist, come out. Again, I'm going to skip one, go to the next one, and bring that back. Okay, and then we're going to put that into the next tie. And again, twist it a couple of times, cut it off, and tuck it down in there. Okay. Then we get we have the two on the top, same thing. So really, then you're just going to go through in your tails, you can kind of pull these apart and you want to make sure um, as you're separating, they're nice and soft. You don't want them kind of all smushed together or bent up, you want them to spaced out. Bring it all the way around, and uh, we are at about a half an hour, guys. 34 minutes, I believe. And we have a adorable football wreath. All right, guys, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave that in the comments, and I will um, also leave the link for this kit in the description along with the measurements um, and if you need anything just uh, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe and also be sure to follow me on Facebook as well um, so you see anytime we have anything new coming out and that's it for me. Alright guys I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.